Hello you juicy niblets and welcome to Remothered Tormented Fathers. So I thought we'd start off at the little gameplay section because there was a lot of talky talky talkiness at the start. So uh, yeah why not, we'll start from here. You haven't really missed much. Nice run cycle. Uh, also I noticed you can't turn the like camera down as far as the sensitivity goes. So uh, bear with me if suddenly I do this, try and look to the right slightly and go WATCHA all the way around. So yeah, it'll take a little while to get used to. Uh, excuse me, there we go. Celeste Belton. You can read all that in your own time. Uh, let's go this way. It's like she's stroking some imaginary cats. As she's running, look. Man. Well, she's not in the bins. Oh. Bit the old heavy breathing. What's going on here? I mean, she's very panicked, and all she's done is run around. See that freaked out about the lost child. Let's get our feet wet. Evil music. Who is it? Yes, hello. I'm Dr. Reed from the Santa Margarita Institute. I'm sorry, but Mr. Felton is no longer a patient. I know. This is why I'm here. Hello? Uh, anyone? I wasn't expecting that voice. <laughs> God caught me off guard. She sounds like a 20 year old trying to do a deep voice. Obviously a 20 year old woman. Not a 20 year old man. She's got no nipples. How are you supposed to know if she's cold or not? Because that's clearly all nipples are used for. the stuff up, it's not letting me. Let's just head in. Not a fan of the outfit by the way. It just doesn't match. But why is she so panicked when she runs? Hello? The gate was open. Are you there? Hello? Is anyone there? These subtitles are a mess, by the way. The amount of times that the dialogue has been wrong compared to what's been said and what's actually in the subtitles. It's fine. Nitpicking that much already. Overall, it seems alright. Looks good. Even though I'm playing on low settings, as I always do. It's all about the FPS for me. She is. She's like really panicked when she gets out of breath. Alright, chill out, chill out, chill out. You're okay. What? Something wrong with your shoe? Peekaboo. Alright, chill out. Chill out. You're fine. She's just gonna open her hands later. And she's going to have probably red eyes. Or laser beams. Gun? Oh. Whoa. That was loud. Good evening, Miss I am... Reed. You already told me at the intercom, and as I already told you, Mr. Felton is no longer a patient at the Santa Institute. 
I came here voluntarily, outside the Institute. So what do you want? I am personally re-examining your case. Causes, reagents... I strongly believe there are alternative ways and probably other experiments that are worth a try. I am fighting with the Institute to recognize there are other adequate remedies for your husband's oh, pathology. Oh, no, please. I I'm just assisting him. I'm his nurse. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, it's okay. I suppose you want to talk to him. Thank you. I apologize for the darkness, but Mr. Felton's sight has been damaged and immensely compromised because of the disease. Anyway, I am Gloria. Oh, and please, refrain from smoking inside. Mr. Falcon hates the smell of smoke. Sorry. The, uh, the cutscenes get really loud. <laughs> Sorry about that. Tick tock. Goes the thing which I can't remember. It's the metronome. It's just the metronome, right? Pretty sure it's just the metronome. Okay, I just floated down from the sky. Don't worry about it. it. Happens to the best of us. Oh, she can't sprint right now. She's inside the house. So she's got to walk it incredibly slowly. Bad habit. Smoking? Yes, such a shame. You should quit. You have no idea how bad this is for you. Not only for your health, but it's also very expensive. Money and time wasted. I have so much to do every day. I couldn't waste time with such a bad habit. Do you assist Mr. Felton all day? Oh, no. From midday to 8 p.m. Then I go back home. I live near here. If needed, he can contact me with a pager, but that's not often. His wife takes care of him when I'm off. All those chess pieces were the same what color. What can you tell me about her? I met her just a couple of times. She's usually out or locked in her bedroom when I'm here. Hmm? Let's say they don't seem to get along. I didn't know. But, you know, when she's home, she listens to the same music, the same song, over and over. That's expensive. Take it, take it. It's got to be solid gold. games. Come on. You can walk faster than this. Nobody walks this slow. And if they do, just push them. Shield your ears. This way, please. And Mr. Felton will be here in a few minutes. Okay. Sound like she's walking on leaves. Grab that, surely. Okay, don't grab it. No one around. Why can't I run? Or crouch. Nice horns. Um. Okay, yeah. Sorry, from further back it looked like the head wasn't attached. Can't interact with that door. You can run around. No one can see you. Ah, it's this picture. And the desk. Okay. The coronation of a virgin. The young girl gazes into the sky above with stunned eyes and a light hits her. That's enough. That's all you get. Such a tease. Come on. Come on. There we go. Mr. and Mrs. Felton's farm. Rosso Gallo closes danger of contamination hmm other side whoa 
Let's see what they wrote about me on the news. That you wanted to tarnish me, but I'll get back at you. Oh, surely I will. Starting with your daughter. Do you believe she doesn't know who her father is? I'm sure he would be glad to know that she is his daughter. Show you... Show you've got balls. Take your own responsibilities. Wait, is he talking to the daughter? What am I saying? Balls? You never got balls. Oh no, she's upset. I said balls too many times. Do you believe in God, miss? Well, it would be too easy, wouldn't it? I believe in people's willpower. Everything else is not God, but an aptitude or mankind's cruelty. This is the kind of fairy tale I prefer at my age. When you're worn out from an incurable disease, you start having some doubts. Why is there so much life in such small but lethal creatures? An arbiter, that's all we need. For what? It's wrong and crazy. It's human nature. That same nature in which we are equals to those ants eating each other. But, pardon me, I forgot my manners. Please, sit down. Dr. Reed, I suppose? Uh, sorry, Mr. Felton. Pleased to meet you. So, you already met Gloria? Yes, she let me in. She's a great reference, extremely hardworking, but back to us. I don't recall seeing beautiful doctors like you at the Institute, Dr. Reed. <laughs> I am flattered, Mr. Felton. I arrived at the Institute just a few months after you left. And you left because... Inadequacy of the sanitary treatments within the structure. That's right. And in a few words? In a few words. They didn't know how to treat my case, and they left me there to die. But it seems that other issues took over. I once or twice refused to go through exams. Mr. Felton, is there anything I can do for you? Oh, Gloria. Yes. See if Dr. Reed needs anything. Oh, no. May I offer you a cup of tea or coffee? Espresso? No. Thank you. As you wish. How about you, Mr. Felton? No, thank you. I'll keep entertaining our guest. You can go now. You're diagnosed? 1958? Yes, indicatively. Some friends and I contracted the disease while traveling to Egypt, and it got worse. In addition to the disease, the first exam showed some inconsistency. Some hormonal deficiency? Overdose of non-prescribed drugs, opiates... Anoxal? Wasn't it recalled in the mid-60s? Doctor, don't you think that nowadays there are ways to obtain drugs Without any prescription. Uh, I believe so. According to your file, you still receive your disability pension. Even better, it seems that the beneficiary is your wife, Ariana Gallo. Exactly. She's the one who takes care of me when Gloria is off. How about your daughter? My daughter? Celeste has never come back home. Disappeared. She was adopted, am I right? Mm. The investigators confirmed that she intentionally left. They never suspected a kidnapping since there was no ransom request. How about Weeman? Wasn't he a suspect? <sighs> a flash in the pan. An idiot who brought confusion by sending warnings and threats. And her birth parents? Dr. Reed, young girls often decide to just go. And this is what my daughter decided to do with... Jennifer. What did you say? At times, you'd call her Jennifer. No, <sighs> My Mr. Daughter. Felton, what has really happened to your daughter? I just told you! How about the off-the-record version? I am not sure where you're trying to go with this, but I won't tolerate- I don't have the strength for this now! I know you've been trying to forget her, but this picture might help you to. What is this? Where did you get this picture? Isn't she your daughter? Celeste, or has you called her? Jennifer? I asked you a question! The back of the picture says Jennifer. There is no Jennifer! You thought I was stupid, didn't you, Mr. Felton? Do you... do you really think I'd come here without knowing what I'm Who talking about? Who are you, and why did you come here? Did you come to my home to threaten me with your condescending Threatening tone? you? So maybe I should ask your wife, then. She's not home. Seems like she is. Mr. Felton, I just talked to the director of the Institute on the phone. They have never heard of Dr. Reed. She is not what she claims to be. Well, Miss Reed, if that is your real name, your time here has ended. Please, leave my property. 
Miss Gloria will escort you out. Please follow me. Mr. Felton, please, tell me what you did to your daughter! Good evening. Follow me. Mr. Felton. I don't know why, but for some reason I felt like he was going to eat the picture. <laughs> you know the way. How do you even... How do I do what? How do you even sleep at night? You use people's lives regardless of the pain you cause. The Feltons have been through a lot. And they are good people. Gloria, a young girl disappeared. We all know the story, unfortunately. A burden that the Feltons will have to carry for the rest of their lives. Celeste just left them. If that was the case... There was a motivation behind it. And it threatened her life. She's got a wonky walk. It's kind of interesting so far. It's piqued my curiosity. Let's see if we get to the uh, the horror elements as it started to rain. someone would have left keys behind that. We're guessing the wife's like a corpse. Nah, I don't need to save my game up yet. I'm done anything. Look for the mirrors with the metronome. From now on, you can save. Okay. Flashlight. Okay, she's clearly pressing her nipple to turn the flashlight on and off. <laughs> Items. You can hit your enemy if he has reached and stopped you. Okay. Fine. Right, straight off. Resident Evil. The remake. That's fine, not a problem. It's a good idea. Oh, don't tell me I can open like literally everything. New collectible. Oh, there was the other side. My mistake. Well, I <laughs> can close the drawer now. Come on, flip it over. Let's have a look. What does it say? December 68. Diversions. Okay. Why did it? That's fine. That's just fine, just throwing stuff. Then it helps to turn off the lights. Why not? Turn everything off. Oh, 
Are we gonna stab the old man? Oh, you're kidding me. Zoom! I've got the zoom eyes! She got scared. She just figured out she's got zoom eyes. She's scared. I would be too if I climbed under a chair and just suddenly my eyes went... through there. Tied by a rope. How do you know that? Oh, well, the setting itself isn't too bad. I'll give it that. What else have we got? More diversion. Ah, didn't actually mean to hide in there. Gizzers, nice. Mr. Felton, I'm going for all your comments. Closed from the other side, huh? I need something to use this. Interesting. A puzzle piece. Oh, loads of goodies. Okay, right, fine. Very generous with stuff. snow globe than a cup. Upgrade defense items. Okay. Durability up. Okay, I was yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Bad idea. I regret everything. Wait, that was what I came in for, right? She's a corpse. It's gotta be. This is melting. I don't understand this weird, like, dusty camera lensy effect when it's supposed to be from your eyes. Are you here? Goodbye. 
Please, Jammed again, right? Yes, I know. You... I really you hope we don't see a thing with angle. We need to buy the new gadgets on the market. Promise, promise, promise. How can I say no to you? Now get some rest, love. My little Jennifer. Jennifer. to throw the candlestick at him. Stalkers. Stalkers are bad. Fine. Snow globe him next time. Many sinks. I knew it. Oh, oh come you on. I think I'm enjoying your stupid game. Fucking cocksucker. <laughs> um, kind of stuck. There we go. Let me. What kind of place is doing here? <laughs> the only voice line he has. Like, come on, let me, let me throw. What can I throw at him? So, you like to go around and rummage in other people's... <laughs> rummage in other people's what? Not now, I have to run. Oh, ah. is that why, really? You slut! Oh, no, uh, I was just about to look the candlestick at him. <laughs> <laughs> her face. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, look at her eyes. Well, that's enough for me. That's brought me some joy. <laughs> oh, love it. So that was Remothered Tortured Fathers. Uh, if you like those um, stalkerish, I guess, type uh, horror games, then I'm sure you'll enjoy this one. But uh, yeah, it's not for me. I'm not really a fan of these type of horror games. But still, that was a laugh. 